Greetings, engineers, and welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I just realized I forgot to power all of these structures. Um, I was considering a landing on the titanium planet, the one that has like millions and millions of copper and and other and uh, and iron. However, uh, I can't really do that because we need to finish stuff here. So let's see. Can I? Oh, that might be tricky. All right, we're gonna have to put these a little bit closer together. These power poles way closer together than I want, really. But let's see, there we go. Okay, it's all settled up. Let's see if we can actually get Casimir crystals from this whole thing. Is that what we, we do have them right here. What else do we need? It looks like we need just coal from this. So let's import coal and we'll do local demand and remote demand as well. We'll just get a thousand for now and that is gonna work so sadly it looks like <laughs> I'm gonna have to mine things the traditional way if you missed the last episode we found out to our horror abject horror that this thing needs optical grading crystals which you cannot make you have to find them you have to mine them and they are a rare resource which are we're going for the achievement run so we can't actually get them so that has made me extremely sad and i'm like what the heck why oh no don't do that why does it so it supposedly has snapping but it really doesn't work very well does it let's see all right so anyway we have stuff happening do we did we need to i think we needed to stack that by the way, as well. Whoops. Okay, let's stack this stuff. Oh, this is one detriment of this particular location, it looks like. There's no, um, yeah, there's nowhere to put stuff. There's nowhere to stack things, and we really need to stack this material. What we could do is stack it here. This is probably not needed for much right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just stack this stuff. Uh, maybe we'll do it the other way. Hold on. Let's see. Delete this. And do a different thing. Jeez. I think this was going to be fine if we did this this way. So let's just delete this and delete that. get this going so anyway it, we're just sad really sad that you have to use a rare material for that like what the heck why is that that way nothing else has those rare materials as a primary component so that doesn't even make any sense to me um it's just like it just feels very petty especially since you know uh there is knowledge that people want to do these achievements. So, I mean, of course, why, why else would you have an achievement unless you want the players to do it? So it feels very bad that um, you can't do that. Anyway, uh, we're going to try not to be horribly sad. We'll just be partially sad, I guess. And in other news, maybe we start mining some of this here. Let's see. This is... that's getting oil. We have to take it out of there somehow. We could, this is what, this is actually oil coming in here, right? Okay. That can be put on a completely different side. So we'll just take that out completely. And that way that'll allow us to mine this coal because we are going to need a mountain of coal for this structure that we're making. that and maybe we can stick another one in here yeah there we go beautiful okay so let's take this coal uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put in one stacker I don't know if we're gonna need it probably not but we're gonna just put it in anyway and then these two
I'll get those to fix somehow. We'll fix those in some way. Okay, let's get this one out though here and we can start going up a tiny bit anyway. Then go this way and then go back. Try to connect with this thing. There we go. This is crazy, but needs must, so you know. Don't really have too much choice here. It's just a messy, messy thing is what this is. So let's see if we can get this one down on the ground, like here-ish, and then we can just kind of combine them like that. Then that means we can just take it out back into this tower. That's where all the coal is coming into. Okay, that's something to help our production. Um, that will get us more Casimir crystals, obviously. And that's kind of what we want. That is going to really improve our um, our production on the in the main area. It looks like we're missing one more thing, which is the titanium crystals, which we do not have yet. We still need some organic stuff and titanium. I guess that means we go to the other planet right now. Um, well, I was hoping this was the end, but we can't. We, we don't even have titanium in this system. So what I want to do is start making that titanium thing work. Let's go to the other planet, which we've never visited yet. This is pretty exciting going to the new place. Let's do our little uh, thingy up there. There we go. And we're going to just speed up and get there as fast as possible. There we go. Darren, I forgot to check if we needed fuel, but we don't. Of course not. <gasps> no, I don't mean control. No, please don't do that. Uh, actually, you can. Uh, I don't mind. This is a fast way to get to other planets, by the way, if it doesn't mess up too badly. You know what I forgot to pick up is the lava um, power plants. I was going to get some before we left. So let's see. We need titanium. Do we have that? We have millions of titanium. Tens of millions. So let's see. What is our disposition? Okay, that's north. We, are la we landed on titanium. This is great. So I want to set up first. Let's get a tower. I want to get a tower to order some geothermal plants. That's the first thing I want to get. Let's grab some of those. I hope that they are being made. We did drop off some motors, but I don't know if it's enough. Here, just get 10% if you can. Let's get 100 of those if possible. That's the lowest we can get. Uh, and I think the other station has warpers, so I'm hoping we'll get some, maybe. Uh, oh no, they can't. They're, at, they're probably at 100%, so... We need to have some warpers in here and some ships in here to go and get those items. So we can also put in a little bit of these guys in case we need it. Anyway, we're going to try to do this, but we have no power. So the first thing to do is establish power dominance on this planet. Um, and I forgot my solar panels. Of course, that is so convenient. Yes, let's get those as well. Let's get like five, a thousand of those maybe. Remote demand. There we go. We're actually getting some of those. That's good. But we do have the other important thing, which is our ray receivers. So we're going to put some of these on the top of the planet here because we already have a swarm. So that's going to provide our main source of power until we can get some others set up. All right. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so let's set this next one out. I don't know why they're not being nice with the, the thing here. It's being a bit of a pain. All right, let's go ahead and take our power poles out to the tower. Oh, whoops. Uh... Sometimes what I'll do on long distance things like this is I'll do regular pull, uh, then fancy pull, regular pull, fancy pull, because it covers a lot of ground and you don't use that many fancy pulls. 
Also, I would like the occasional substation to use. I've noticed that sometimes when we have especially like smelting areas where you can't put power poles between, like we just saw uh, in our on the other planet, it's like, oh, I would love to have a regular thingy there, you know? But we didn't at the time, so I forgot to make those. Let me just write that on our list uh, to do. Let's see, make thermal power plants. We got that. Make big miners. We can't do that. Lava powers, yes. Splitters, we're fine. So let's see, make uh, substations. I normally don't like them. I feel like they're very expensive uh, to build. And that's like, eh, for a regular power pole, why would I pay that much? Look, it's, it's 10 blue motors and two biscuits. Jeez, that's way too much, way expensive. But sometimes they can be good because they do cover a very large area. Well, not a very large area, a somewhat large area, let's say. All right, so we have energy that is not here why don't we have energy what's going on with this hello let's check power poles are seem to be connected maybe it's because they haven't warmed up yet no surely not uh hello oh yeah of course of course trying to use max distance and of course it just does not connect all right so those are going to improve over time as the um concurrent like you know what is it called? Ray receiving is on there. So we are getting energy here. This is great. All right. So titanium is existing here. This is good. We need titanium to export to the other planet. However, I think our primary concern should be with that blue motor factory. We need a lot of space for this. Uh, this is a nice chunk of space over there. I want to go over there. Let's go. Doesn't even matter if like there's not enough iron or, co or copper, we'll just import it. Look at this huge piece of space. This is great. Okay, so blue motors, let's put this down here. Oh, we can, okay, it's snapping. Eh, oh, there's the meridian right there. Okay, we know what? It's looking like it's snapping to a meridian, so we can maybe put it there. Does it fit anywhere? Oh, I hate that I did this on a meridian. That makes me so sad. Really sad. Because even though this place doesn't have a lot of stuff, it's still blocking it. Oh, maybe on the bottom somewhere? Do we have a spot? No. Oh, this makes me really, really freaking sad. Oh. Okay, note to people, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. Just don't do it. Don't build on a meridian. Where am I? Am I on a meridian? Right, let's see, control C. Nope, control C. Okay, so meridian starts there. So I need to start below where I'm at. Okay, let's ta er, exit mode. Of course we have to exit mode, that's silly. But it is the way. So we're going to build this not on the meridian. Let's do one level below just in case. So we're going to do a similar style to the one before. Now, do we have coal on this planet? We do. Let's find the coal and make our paint factory first. So we know where that's going to be. Right here, though, I'm going to make a tower first thing so that we can find this area again where we're building. It's going to be a lot easier. Let's see. Coal, I think, is this way somewhere. Copper. Wait, was that coal there? Hello? No, that might have been iron. Okay, let's see where we are. Oh, coal is right over there. It's 125,000. There are two patches of coal. So if we go back this away, we'll find both patches of coal. So here's coal here. And then there's another one over there. Okay, so we can grab this coal and make that work for us. It, they aren't very big patches, so we're going to need some amount of mining, it seems like. Okay, where is the north? Hold on, I'm backward here. So turn this way. That's north. Yeah, ish, no there looking at the mini map now 
Yeah, perfect. Okay. So now we can get stuff going on. Let's get our mining here. And there's a lot in each of these patches. Well, not a lot, a lot, but there's, it's worth putting several miners on it, I feel. Let's see where we can make our, um, our painting factory. Let's see, with blue sorters, that's the one we want. Okay, so this will work right here quite nicely. Good. All right, so paint's gonna come in over there. go that way and then we're gonna put in the coal this way like that why is it colliding oh gosh why didn't this go up I was expecting that to be on the second level there okay it's so funny I think it sometimes like eats my inputs because I definitely did click it to go up there but it didn't for whatever reason But it's okay. I mean, that's a thing that happens sometimes with with technology. Okay, let's make sure that we finish all of this as well. There we go. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now, it looks like we're midway on the planet. I'm wondering if I should connect this north or south. I mean, we could put dishes south as well. These are so long. I'm going to use them. I'm going to use them. I don't care. They're kind of great, so I'm going to use them. Again, you only need a one pole between two smaller poles. Wait, what? How come it's not working now? <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to give me a longer length now. Because like right now, if I put this one, this is going to be like, oh wait, that length? Okay. And this one should be much longer, but it's not. It's just being weird now. See how long this distance is? That one is like four squares and this one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven squares. That's so strange that it's like these strange distances. Oh well. Anyway, let's just take this over here and I'm just gonna go up to our dishes in the north. That's the goal here. So that one's also long. All right. Perfect. Okay, so now it's all connected. There's, here's the other coal veins. Here are the other coal veins. I think we'll just put this into a tower and have it shipped that way. Or do we nah, let's not belt this. I'm I'm gonna I need to save on belts. <laughs> I need belts. Cheaper to put a tower, dang it, with those with our lack of belts problems, no motors. This is such a pitiful coal patch, but it has a lot of coal, but just in very small thingies. So we're not going to get a very high throughput. I hope it's enough. I think it should be enough. I mean, to be fair, it's, we, you know, we can, uh, yeah, it's going to be fine. It'll be fine. There we might go. There we go. Okay. And power for all this stuff. Again, I do like to, as much as possible, have, uh, independence of each of these towers. So we'll just chuck in some of these guys. And of course, we, I always put in the big ships as well. Wow, I have oil in my inventory? Why do I have that? Confusion. Why? All right. Now then, I want to check where we have paint needed. So we're going to have this paint belt there. But where is our actual production? It looks like it's going to be clear on to the other side of the world. I think what we do maybe is just take this belt and just diagonalize it that way. Kind of like how planes go diagonally over the Atlantic Ocean. They kind of make this big curve on the map, but apparently that is the shortest way to go. I always found that really fascinating. It has to do with the curvature of the earth and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, this seems to be appropriate. 
I might also grab this here. Like there are two huge veins of iron and copper, which we know we're going to need anyway. So we might as well grab them while we're here. And as much as possible, I'm going to try to use stackers rather than um, additional belts. I think we've kind of been doing that anyway in our playthrough, so it's been pretty good. I think that's good enough. Could have a tiny bit more throughput on the copper, but I'm not going to bother with it, I think. I am so sad that we cannot use those mining machines until we complete the game. I am just like, I am just destroyed by this. I'm like, what the heck? How is this even fair? It really isn't fair. And I feel like the game just, it's just being mean to us. I'm still like, I can't get over that. It's so frustrating. I was so looking forward to those miners. Like you have no idea how, like I wanted them so much. And now they are forbidden to us at this point. Okay, that's fine. <sighs> sad times, sad times. Oh well, whatever. Mm. I wonder if on that other mine, if I put in enough stuff. I'm kind of like, did I or didn't I? I'm not sure. I might have not put them into the tower. And that's not a good thing. Let's see can connect these power poles this way maybe to the side I don't think we need to connect them to the north yeah there we go this is gonna be good okay so now we have towers collecting a lot of stuff for us we'll go ahead and put in more of these guys because um, as I said, it's nice for these tower to be independent, and we also get more throughput on uh, just in general on these towers. So there we go. Let's. We're still taking this painting belt. That's that was our goal, apparently, which we were not. Uh, oops, collide. What is it colliding with? Oh, it's colliding with itself. Hooray! All right, bots, go, 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 go. Make, make, make. Build, build, build. Hurry up. There we go. So we're kind of looking for our other tower that's somewhere on this side of the world. Let's go this way a bit. Just give our bots a little bit less distance to travel. It really takes an effort to make the uh, energy bar go down, by the way, with at this level of stuff. Uh, yeah, definitely. Because that green, uh, those green fuel rods are really good. Okay, we have 1032 green science. Why is that not going down? But I feel it's so important to make these motors because it's just, we need them. We really need them. All right, so paint is here. <clears throat> paint has arrived, hooray. So I think here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna import, uh, yeah, import these two things. We're gonna get, yeah, just a thousand is plenty or whatever, close. Local demand, local demand for this stuff. I don't want them to go and go to other planets and grab this stuff. Because the other planets need their own stuff. Definitely. So we're going to start just south of the Meridian. As you can see, that's where the break is. Now I'm going to go and um, we're going to look at the calculator again. And I think what we want to do is... I want to get uh, blue motors made. And this is... I can't believe we're supplementing them all with these blue motors like this. Where are they? There they are. So four per second is 12 factories. 
I think that's good. I think we should do this because we definitely need more belts. We need all kinds of other stuff and we're, we're just going to increase what we're doing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double build the green engines. Um, and then we're just going to keep this number for the, uh, other stuff. So let's see what's, what's in this thing. Hold on. I can't see OBS. There we go. So the only other material in this is we have the carbon, the energetic graphite, and we have the rings. So what I'm going to do, I think is we're going to, uh, we're going to build the blue motor part and then we're going to double this for everything else. Yeah, I think, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to figure it out. And we'll just add on stuff, I think. All right. Anyway, so let's start out with this belt going the other direction. <laughs> God, start out with this kind of going into here. This is going to store our blue motors for us. And we're going to make millions of them. So they will be a supply for the rest of the world, rest of the universe or galaxy that we're in. Let's start off with this stuff. We need three different items, I think, for these blue motors. First of all, let's put in our painting. I want to put in the painting uh, device. There we go. Let's put this here. We have plenty of space, so let's just leave plenty of space. And then now we can start with our assemblers. So this is going to make blue motors. I can't believe I copied that whole thing. and It did not work. Jeez. All right. Let's go three in one, two and three. Again, what do we need here? Rings. Uh, that stuff is going to be painted on exit. So that's just fine. So let's get our inserters here or sorters. Oopsies. Oh, I don't want to do that. Oh, I didn't want to do that either. Dang it. Okay. I swear. I'm just like, sometimes I just feel like such a klutz when I'm doing these things and I get it wrong. But I mean, in reality, I don't get many things wrong. Most of the things are just fine. It's just, it feels bad when it happens. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's get 12 of these made. So that's four, four, and one, two, three, four. Not quite long enough. Sad times. Not too sad. Just partially sad. I want a shopping tower as well. I don't know if I made one already, but let's put a shopping tower here. And we're going to, of course, have to clear everything. God, I wish that would be changed. That's such an annoying thing. Um, these, let's grab maybe 1,500 at a time. Uh, and those should be delivered to us at some point. Actually, maybe we'll do 1,000. I don't know. Help. All right, well, hopefully we'll get something because that, that's a bit worrying that it's not even starting to deliver anything to me. All right. So now um, I think what we need to do is we might need to add stuff together on this calculator. So right now the things we need are, wait, do green motors need any of that other stuff? They need the rings. Okay, so we need to figure out the rings. So we have 66, 66 smelters making rings. Holy fuzzy cats. I mean, holy not fuzzy rings. Okay, sure. All right, what else do we have in there? Energetic graphite, do we need that for anything else? Let's look at the energetic graphite and see where it goes. It goes only to blue motors. Okay, so that's not needed. So the rings, where do they go? They go half to this and half to that. So 18. So basically we need 48 more smelters if we double up the green motors. Okay, so I'm just gonna write this down. 66 plus 48 gives us 114 ring smelters. I'm writing this on a piece of paper. So it'd be nice to have like a thing that I could show you, but it, I don't, I don't have it. Okay. Um, everything else for the green stuff, we need to double up basically. So everything else that is 
like the ring makers, the electromagnetic rings, the motor makers and all that stuff. So that's going to be like a quick reference that we can kind of look at. So, all right. The graphite can be smelted right here. I think that's going to be coming out here. And I think we can paint it right there. If I, yep, there we go. Can paint the graphite there. So graphite smelters, we need eight of them. Not many, not many. One, two, three, and let's get stuff coming in. So eight is not a lot. So we're gonna get those going. All right, one, two, three, four. Graphite. Alrighty. It's kind of a, almost nice to nest these within or between assemblers because of the power requirements. So if I put power here, like I, guess I can do it there and there, we should get most of them covered. Let's see. Uh, the rest can be covered probably on this bottom thing. So let's see, we're going to get coal in here for that. So that's going to come in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get ask for coal. So coal comes in here and again, just a thousand sure local demand. Oh, we don't have that in a tower. I bet. Oh yeah, we do. We do. We definitely do because we put it in a tower for the other, uh, the other thing. I think, I think we put it in a tower for the other, uh, assembly because we thought we had the need for it. So there we go. Let's see. This is going to be paint. I really hope that the shopping tower is bringing stuff. No, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Why? I feel my, mm, I feel the sadness happening. I feel much sadness happening. Okay. All right. We're going to do something. We're going to do something. Uh, hmm. Let's get some power here. We don't have any ships here, so that's important to fix. 20. I'm going to do something kind of naughty here. Why is this not getting any stuff? Okay, we're not connected to power. Let's connect to power first. Let's see, this can go this way. Mm, so that power is this one. Where is that? Uh, I am now really confused. Like, where is this? I know we had at least one mine here, this one. It's not connected to power. No, but this one is. Why are these not filling up? They're set. I don't understand this at all. I'm not sure what's going on with this. Okay, so these are mining now. These can go in. Why is this not going in? I don't like it's it's going all the way in. Ah. Uh. I hate when there's weird stuff that goes on like this. Like I connected this stuff. See, and it's still not going in. What is going on with this? Why, why isn't this working? Because it's not copper, right? Okay. Never mind. Apparently I can't tell that. Look, it looks like copper from here. It looks very orange. Okay. Well, we'll use this copper over here and then we're going to use just the same tower. That's going to be good enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're really short on belts. We're going to make belts locally. I feel really shortly here. I, I, sorry. I thought that like, it looks spiky and orange and I'm like, that's copper. No, oh, of course it's not. All right. It's fine. No worries. We can get it going. Let's see. Really hoping that achievement to like connect 12 miners, 12 mines with one miner like happens on its own. Cause that seems like a pain, pain in the socks achievement. 
really. Like, you have to have the perfect patch, I feel, and the perfect placement, both of them. I guess that's what makes it an achievement. I don't really like, like, achievements that are just participation awards, basically, that are like, you don't have to do anything, it just happens on its own. I find those really silly. I don't really get that. Like, there's nothing that has been achieved, it's just, you played the game. Which is not an achievement, it's just playing the game. Okay, copper is happening. Now, <laughs> now let's go back. Okay, are we getting belts? Please bring us belts. God, it's not bringing us belts. Okay, sure. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a smelting line to make belts. <laughs> This is really dumb that I have to do this. I feel like my mall has failed me. My factory has failed me because it isn't able to supply me with the needed materials that I require. All right. Oh, I didn't need to do that because I haven't built the other belt yet. Of course not. Let's just do this one this way. Oh, lack of item. Lack of belts. We have no more belts. This is very sad. Okay. What I'm going to do, I'm going to have to have placeholder belts at this point. Uh, like, literally having yellow belts, I think. And then we just have to upgrade them once we get proper belts. Actually, not there. Oh, actually, that's okay. That's okay. Because we can put in our assemblers here. So assembler. So I think we'll have belts here. Regular belts. Yay. Ah, oh, sad times. All right. And then this thing. How many does this make per second? Makes one per second. And this one makes how many belts per second? Or how many things? In one second, it needs one gear. So this is a perfect ratio one to one here. There we go. And then put them into a box. This feels very like... Very 30 some episodes ago. <laughs> Dang it, why? Why do I have to do this? This is so sad. Very 33 episodes ago. Why? Oi, oi, oi. All right. So we'll make like two rows of belts and that's gonna be good because that's gonna give us something rather than the nothing that we currently have. Uh, the nothing is bad. The, as we learned from the never ending story, the nothing is really bad. Okay, let's bring that on and power to you. Yay. Okay. Now then, we also need to make those green motors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make the green motors in the other area. I'm just gonna come up here to get these like placeholder belts, I think. Um, and maybe we build another set of these as well. Let's see. Let's just copy this. Uh, there we go. Copy that. There we go. And copy this. What I'm going to do, I'll put them all in the same thing because it's more convenient for me to grab them out. All right. So now we have two, two makers making this stuff. Oh boy, oh boy. Why is this my life right now? <laughs> Come on. Come on, game. Oh, it's my... It, well, I think it's it's the half resources. That's really what it is, I think. Because that's really where we're suffering with this stuff. Okay, let's make the green motors. That is going to be an awesome thing for us. Uh, because those things are needed in belt production. And we can actually grab some up. Uh, from belt produ production, actually. And make ourselves green belts at the very least. Collides with other object. I don't want it to collide. Okay, fine, fine, whatever. Okay, that ends there. Alright, very good. I kind of hate that that snaps the opposite way. That doesn't make any sense at all to me. 
Okay, green motors are going to be here. Let's start them off there. Let's find what we need with this. All right, so we need motors and we need the magnetic coils. So that's two items in. And again, we're just going to use temporary belts for now. Now this is where we start doubling things up and this is probably where our belts are gonna die. So here is our list. We need 16 machines making these green motors. How many? We have 12 of those. We need to have a longer uh, thing than that. At least this long, say. <clears throat> the other line is this one. Very nice. Okay, can I grab from the belt box? There it is, not quite, not quite, not close enough. Okay, getting lots of belts, which is good. Very, very good. So we're gonna, let's get inserters here. Of course, needed. So this is 12 and then four. Okay, very nice. Excellent. So now this is where we get uh, some more of our power poles in. I love this. It's like every four thingies you put a power pole. There we go. And it covers, of course, some of the smelting from the other area as well. So now here's a part. Let's see. These guys need several components, obviously. All right. So I guess we do motors next for that. Okay, let's go. Motors next. Put in here we're gonna get this guy uh right yep spray on leaving so there we go motors we're going to need wait we we decided so this is 16 we decided we actually needed more than that we needed 32 of them so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna copy this wholesale this whole thing because we need exactly this many again so copy use now and add here. There we go. That is beautiful because we can put all the power poles down. Everything is down. We don't need to drag the belts anymore. It's all sorted for us. And of course we have, um, we don't have the correct belts, but we're going to get them. We're going to get them. Oh, don't you worry. We are going to get those belts. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a box, uh, so that at least I can make this green belts. Um, well, technically well I don't know let's see we need to convert them to green before we make them into blue so what we can do here is I think I'm gonna put a thing here let's put them in a box for now and we'll move this whole thing later I think that's a better idea right now we can maybe even handcraft some of this stuff uh, maybe what we do is take these belts okay we're gonna do some serious crazy weird stuff now we'll just take these belts down here and do this with them we'll basically put an assembler here let's move this thing here instead and put an assembler here making green belts if we can so these are going to make the green belts and grab from here. All right. Uh, mind you, none of this needs to be painted because it just gives a speed bonus. It does not actually give a production bonus to these. So green belts, here we go. That'll give us something. Okay, and then we'll put these also in a box. So we can do that. We don't really need two sorters there, so let's take that one out. We'll take, we'll get the next one. We'll have the green motors coming from the tower and then there. Okay, so this is gonna be our next thing is, okay, you take, you're gonna make blue belts and you're gonna put them in a box there. Okay, perfect. So we want to have many blue belts. That's what we're doing here. Uh, power. 
rid of this. And so we're going to take the blue things from the tower. There. And up. And up. Okay, perfect. So as soon as this gets made, we're going to start getting blue belts. <laughs> we'll try this. We, we hope that this works. All right. I mean, we hope we're going to get enough. I mean, obviously it's going to work, as in it's not going to not work, because we're making a factory. It's going to work. Uh, but the idea is that, um, yeah, we need to just get it to work faster. Mm -hmm. All right, let's make this motor assembly line, which is going to be probably huge. Let's check our calculator and see what we have for this. So motors, we need 32. So that means we need 64. That means we need this entire thing made for motors. Wow. Uh, let's do eight at a time. I feel like that's a better combo than just doing million. So let's do motors here. Let's see. Motors. All right. And they need three different items. Wow. Okay. So let's see. One, two, three. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's do this much at a time. And then we'll just copy these belts over and then we'll get things kind of going along that way. Just make sure we have the output inserter. Yes, we do. Okay. So copy this one here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just make four and four. Yes, of course. And then we're going to copy the power poles here and there. And now control C is going to copy this whole thing. Use now. And of course I have made too much of this so delete that control v let's see if that connects them oh that's a bit too much though isn't it no all right sad times go away go away x mm. somebody wrote me a message <clears throat> that they were triggered because i didn't use keyboard shortcuts and i'm like wow what is wrong with your life dude I'm like, dude, you get you get annoyed with random YouTubers not using shortcuts? Like, what? Huh? That's like, it was just such a strange idea to me. I was like, wow. Like, how does that even, like, work in your universe? That was very weird. Uh, oopsies. Okay, so apparently these are too long as well. Oh, no, the end, the other end was too long, I think. Let's copy this again and try to not do too far. Let's do this instead. So use now. See if that will work. Yeah, that looks perfect. So here we just need two more of these. Just two more. Yes, I said that word. Uh-huh. So it looks like, <laughs> looks like we have issues again. All right, we can put it this way though. That works quite nicely, actually. It's just, yeah, it's just a little bit off, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to just make this that way. Yep, there we are. So these belts are going to wrap around, obviously. And let's see, do we have, we have belts. We have all the things. They are green, so yay. So this one, that means it's going to wrap around just like that. And these others are going to do exactly the same thing. Very nice. Okay, so this isn't going to be very expandable, but I, I somehow feel we're not going to need it to be expandable. I feel like these motors are going to go far across the universe and they will be everywhere. <laughs> I think it's going to work. I think it's going to be fine. All right. Just waiting for bots to build stuff. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. All right. This is cool. I wonder if my shopping tower has gotten any of those uh, things yet. No belts. I, the other, I think I had another shopping tower as well. Because I remember clicking on the, uh, getting those lava machines. Let's see if we have any of those. Even though we probably don't need it. But if we don't use as much of the solar swarm energy, 
then we can save it for the other planet. So I would really like to use the geothermal uh, power here if we can. Okay, yes, we have the solar panels, but we don't have any geothermal. Wow, beautiful. Why, man? There is, I think it's, I think it's a lack of blue motors. Oh my God. So, all right. Anyway, I think this is a good time to stop for this particular episode. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this. I've really enjoyed like discovering a brand new planet. It's been kind of exciting. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>